Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, Funky Fud, Lemma Boy, he welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. Last time we finished off World 3, and today we're going to be starting World 4, which is the, like, like, as I said, it's the sort of, like, cliffs, I guess is the theme. It's sort of, like, uh, the theme of World 6 in Donkey Kong Country Returns. And, anyway, we're starting with Ant Trooper Hill. Uh, I guess we're playing as Peach, that was the next character on the list. And, yeah, basically, um, so, the Ant Troopers are these enemies right here. Uh, I think they're, like, maybe the most... Um, well-known enemy in like or like new enemy. Okay, we are Okay, um, I just wanted to climb up this. I thought there might be okay Well, there is something but great now all these guys are here So basically yeah, the way that these like ant troopers work is they basically just kind of fall in a line and uh, We'll just continue walking and like as many of them as you kill more will just come back eventually and okay uh, anyways uh, I guess we'll just climb up it. So yeah, like I said, the, the theme is kind of like cliffs, so we got a lot of, um, nice platforming, uh, styles like this, where we can just kind of, uh, come around. And, okay, I guess we have some horn variety. Yeah, I, gu I guess the main ones you can jump on, these guys you can't, as with usual Mario logic. Uh, if you see something that has, like, a spike on its head, uh, do not try and jump on it. It won't end particularly well for you, but of course, uh, cap or I guess Cat Peach's attack can just kind of uh, defeat anything. And okay, I guess we have... Okay, well, you know what? We can just kind of... Uh, I'll, I'll do this the uh, the safe method, where we just kind of uh, do that. And now that they're all gone, we can get the stamp for free. And uh, if you don't have the cat suit, I mean, you can just wait for them to go, and then you can just, like, jump up like this. Uh, not too difficult. Um, assuming that there's something good over here. Alright, nice, very good. Yeah, the, I guess that's just uh, if you have the cat uh, suit, so you can get that for free. If you don't, then too bad for you. I guess right here, the idea is you just kind of, uh, I mean, you can either jump over them or kind of walk in paths, or you can just kind of kill them. It's the easiest thing to do. Okay, I guess we have, okay, so I guess there's a green star. I think, I think we can actually see two green stars. We can see that one, and then uh, on the top layer over there, I think, is the other one. But, uh, I guess we will have to see. Okay, so now we have these big guys, and basically the big guys you can actually ride, if I recall correctly. Well, I guess we can kind of ride them. Um, I mean, I, I think riding them is what you're supposed to do. Alternatively, you can do, um, a bunch of interesting stuff. And Okay, that actually was kind of doing good. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess that other, um, wasn't, that wasn't a green star. Um, okay, we can just kind of do that. Yeah. I think I'm getting a hang of the cat's power better. So something I was actually messing up a lot is, um, so if you're like running up a wall and you jump, you like jump off to the side. You don't continue jumping up it. So if you notice in a lot of parts where I would just like jump off, and then like would fail. It's because I kept thinking that jumping would like cause you to go up more, but it always sends you out. So um, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, let's just okay. So I guess at this point we kind of have to ride it. And yeah, they're basically just kind of bumpy. Um. I'm assuming if I time my jump correctly, maybe uh, I can like get a big boost off it. Okay, um, well, uh, there went my power up. Okay, but I know that's fine. Um, yeah, I think if I like uh, time it, uh, you can like get a bigger boost. Alternatively, you just kind of do a bunch of tiny ones. Um, well, okay, that's not really what I wanted. Um, well, I tried to salvage it, but really that hit me. Anyways, I figured I could, um, just, oh, uh, I noticed, uh, what? I don't know what I was, was going to say is there's actually another pipe down here, and since I already got the one that had the green uh, star, we may as well check to see what's uh, in it. Uh, I'll take the alternate path. And it does literally nothing. Okay, um, I guess that's fine. Anyways, we're back over here. Yeah, these guys are kind of a bit annoying just because, I mean, just, I mean, obviously they're constantly bouncing you, but it's also sometimes hard to tell what you can land on slap and, like, what if you land on it, it'll just, like, uh, like damage you. Because, like, p parts of it, like, because, it, it, I mean, it's still an enemy, so if, it, if you, like, land on it in the wrong spot, like, you'll take damage. And, okay, so know we're peach we can just kind of cheat the rest of this um i'm actually not sure which 
way was... I'm not sure what, actually what would have happened if I had continued going downwards, because I saw that there was another pipe down there. But, um... Okay, well, we have the, um... I'll kill one of them, I guess. I, I, that was completely unnecessary, but whatever. But yeah, I, I guess maybe that's just the... I'm actually not sure which would have been technically easier to do. Trying to, like, bounce off so I could get the top, or just continuously riding it all the way to the bottom. But I guess it's just either or. Uh, and they both lead to the same location. At least that's what I assume since uh, I got everything in the level. So I guess if it does lead to something more, it's not really that important. Alright, so for reasons that don't really matter, uh, I'm back here and uh, I figured I'd check out the lower path just because why not? Gotta do that full completion and there's, okay, I guess there's some money down here and uh, I guess that's it. And then does this just put me in the exact same spot? Um, oh, I guess it just puts me at the top, so, uh, well, okay then. Uh, anyway, that is what's on the bottom path, if anyone, in case anyone was wondering. Anyways, moving on. Ooh, Piranha Creeper Creek. This is another pretty well-known level in the game, I believe. At the very least, I think the music is, um, very, uh, very well-known. Uh... And yeah, basically the idea is that we have uh, these guys, these, I guess, this is kind of like a new type of piranha plant that just kind of crawls around. Um, you can like, if you jump on the head, it'll, um, you can damage it. It basically just sends it inwards a bit. I think you have to send it all the way in to kill it or something, because I can try it. I guess when it's like right here, we can just kind of, yeah, put it all the way in. But like, for example, this one's like all the way out, and that just like sends it a little bit in. And then like, we send it all the way in and it dies. Or something. Um, really? Okay. Okay, that's... Yeah, of course the challenge is trying to land on it because it's, you know, constantly moving as well. And whatever. That, I, that was just kind of a demonstration. There's really no point in actually um, killing them. Uh, Alright, so we got... This is actually kind of good. So Fire Mario, I think we actually need... Or, I, I mean, I guess technically Fire Toad. Um, for one thing... Um, you can use the fireballs to get rid of them as well. But also, I'm pretty sure that there are certain torches that we need to light, and um, doing that will um, get, get us some goodies. I'm not sure if it's this version of the level or a version of this type of level later on, but um, obviously it's good to have it uh, just in case. Because, yeah, l lighting torches um, can make some cool stuff appear. Alright, um... Okay, I see what we gotta do. Um, okay, I guess that works. Yeah, something that I've also kind of been forgetting to mention is a lot of the, um... What? That's not optimal. Yeah, um, but a Toad has, like, the worst jumps, so a lot of the... Oh, I can't even do this, can I? Um... Alright, I'm back over here. Um, let's try this again. Um, come on, Donkey... What? I can't even do one... Can I... Really? That didn't count? That's not cool at all. But anyways, what I was trying to say is a lot of, in like a lot of parts I've been like failing a lot of jumps and like saying this is probably not even possible. I think it's because, um, like I mentioned before, Toad has the worst jump. So, um, yeah, uh, that's like the main reason is a lot of jumps would be way easier or like at the very least possible if I was a different character, but since I'm playing as Toad, a lot of things are made way harder, and yeah, I, I missed that green star somehow. Um, that's fine, we'll just go around and get it later or something. Um, I, I don't really like killing myself to, like, reset it, um, just in general. Okay, I guess that was the stamp. Uh, did that, like, put me past the third green star? I guess I may as well check to see what's down here. Um, okay, uh, there's probably nothing. Um, you know, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, that's fine. So yeah, I guess this. Okay, you know what? We're just. I'll just damage boost it. I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, well, a lot, a lot. Something you can also do with like the um, piranha creepers is um, you can just. Um, like, a lot of times they move in kind of like a zigzag path, and you can just kind of maneuver around them. Also, we're a raccoon, which is pretty happy. Okay, here's where the, um, 
last green star is gonna be. Let's just okay. You know what? I guess we're we'll do it live. I guess um, that's fine. Um, cool. Okay. Oh, that just spawns where you grab the last green coin. I guess that's fine. Okay. See right here, just kind of uh, really. God. You know what? That's fine. We'll just go to the end, I guess. Yeah, I kind of damage boosted through a lot of that, but that's okay. Um, okay, wow, I <laughs> I really did not expect to get to the top of the flagpole right there. Not gonna lie, but I guess I did. Anyways, that's that level. Yeah, it's a lot of um, enemy bouncing. I feel like the enemy bouncing in this game isn't particularly pre precise, like not nearly as much so as like Donkey Kong Country. Or maybe I just don't really know the timing, or I'm just like not used to the timing quite yet. But uh, I, I guess um, we'll see. And okay, the lottery appeared for some reason. I still have no idea when that comes. Let's try this again. I'm probably gonna fail it again. Um, let's just do one. Okay, sure. I guess I'll just do it like it's nothing that time. Uh. Alright, well, I uh, guess I'll just redo the level real quick to uh, see at the end. Alright, um, well, we redid the level. So I gotta say that ending section was much easier with the Tanuki. I guess that's just kind of this game in general, is that a lot of, like, the hard... Like, it's really hard to judge the difficulty of a lot of levels because it's really dependent on what power-ups you have. Like, even the hardest levels in the game are made a lot easier um, with, uh, with power-ups. But, uh, I guess that's kind of... Well, I guess the other thing is, I think, I guess getting specific power-ups is kind of a lot easier in this game. And Okay, yep, once again, uh, you know, I actually have two really good power-ups, so I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, I kind of wish they had something sort of like, like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where it's like you could, where you can, like, get a lot of power-ups and then just use them whenever, rather than really only having, I guess I only have room for one additional power-up. Alright, moving on to the enemy blockade of this world, which is, I guess, Brolder Blockade. I guess that's the name of uh, this type of enemy, and it's basically this guy. It's basically just a uh, big rock guy. I guess it's supposed to be Geodude. Basically, you just pick him up, and you throw him in the lava, and he dies. It's kind of rem reminiscent of, like, the bullies of, like, Mario 64, I guess. Although, there actually are bullies in this game as well. I guess throwing something into lava isn't super original in general, but anyways, there you go. Also, if you're wondering, basically the way to do that if you have, like, a power-up, like I've kind of been experimenting with that a bit, is basically just hold down, like, the Y button. Because basically, if you tap the Y button, then you'll do, like, your Chinooki tail attack. And if you keep on holding it, then you can just kind of run into things, and you'll automatically pick it up. Uh, that's how you can, like, pick up things. Because I, I think I mentioned that before, where it's like, if you have a power-up, and uh, that, like, does something else for why sometimes you don't pick up stuff but that, that's how you can do it is you just do the attack and then hold it basically uh, anyways I guess um, I'm assuming this is yeah I was gonna say I'm assuming this is the next level to which is the ooh, beat block skyway that is actually a uh, another level that I actually remember pretty well it's, it's another one of the most like well-known levels in the game I guess basically it is the return of the beat blocks from uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 basically the way it works is just, um, ooh, yeah, double cherries. I guess that is in this level. Oh, yeah, that's probably should have figured that. But, anyways, yeah, basically just listen to the music, and, uh, when the music, like, or basically, like, when, like, every certain, I think, like, measures is the correct term, basically, um, the, uh, blocks will change orientation, and I basically have to pay attention to that. And, okay, I guess we have a little something right here. Okay, that was. Not really that important, but that's okay. So yeah, basically, if you listen to the music, there's like like the I think three beeps and then like a fourth beep, and then the fourth beep is when they change. So it's not too difficult to do. Um, they're not particularly fast. Okay, well, one of my clones died. That's not really what a uh, really optimal, but that's okay. Um, yeah, okay, I guess Tanuki suit kind of breaks a lot of stuff. I don't think I've actually. I'm not sure if I've had the chance to show off just how good the Tanuki suit is. Uh, yet, but, uh, I should be able to do it very well here, given, like, how much, um, I guess, like, room I have to, uh, maneuver. Uh, and yeah, um, we can do this nice and fast. Uh, so another trick, just in general, with the, um, 
uh, like the beat blocks is just, um, or I guess with the like the double chair with the bead blocks is you can always like run into them a bit and then that'll like line you up. Anyways, we got some uh, stuff. Um, is everyone else gonna get on? Come on, there we go. And uh, okay, so I guess I well, I'm glad I had. I guess I'm glad I only lost one of them because if I lost any more of them, I might not be able to get that. Or maybe there was another double cherry that I missed somewhere. I actually wonder how many um like characters you can have at once. I think I feel like four is the most I've ever seen, but like. I guess, I, I mean, I could have had five if I hadn't messed that up, and there, actually, there might be another one over here that we could maybe grab, um, okay, yeah, I was trying to be careful, I don't want to, and okay, I guess, well, there's, there's five Marios, um, that is a lot of Mario, that's actually more characters than you can actually play with in-game, I guess that's what I was saying, where it's, okay, this should be, this should be fun, right, yeah. Okay, I, I like this. But I was gonna say, I feel like four is like the most I've ever seen because it's like four is the maximum number of like unique playable characters you can have. So I thought maybe that was the max of the double cherries, but I guess not. So it actually makes me wonder in, in like multiplayer, I wonder how many characters you could have total if you have like like five of each character, which I guess technically could have been six if I didn't mess up. And then, um, yeah. Anyways, right here is basically like the big side. This is like the most well-known part of this level is basically like this slide. Let's see how long I... Can I keep everything all the way to the bottom? Um, I, I have them lined up pretty well right now. I mean, obviously I'm... Oh, what? That's not cool. That is... I definitely could have kept five, but uh, lost two of them on accident. I got a bit careless, but I only needed two anyways. So it's no big deal. And uh, we got some more boomerang bros who just really aren't much of a threat, to be honest. Um, help, I guess, how many can more of them, oh, they just, I mean, I guess I should have figured that, that would, that's what would happen. I was hoping that, like, if I lined it up well, I could get more than one to touch the flagpole, but I guess, um, I guess the way it's programmed is that it's, like, obviously only one can, uh, grab the flagpole at a time, which, I mean, in multiplayer, multiple players can grab the flagpole, so I thought maybe it would be the same there, but I guess not. Anyway, so that is that side of the level. Obviously, this is like a slip path, so we only have to do one. But I'm obviously going to do both. Uh, the next level being... This is actually a level that I like don't remember at all, but uh, let's see what it's like. Anyways, now let's do the other side. Which, um, this is a level that I do not... That name alone means, like, nothing to me. And, okay. Yeah, this I don't remember this level at all. Um, but, I mean, that's to be expected. I actually am surprised that I've remembered as many levels as I have. Um, I guess this is still sort of like the early game where like the more memorable levels are, I guess, to some extent. Uh, at the very least, the levels that like you remember by name, uh, like, like yeah, like Beat Block Skyway, Pranic, um, Creeper Creek, are like levels I actually would have remembered by name. Or like I think Ant Trooper Hill is the other one, but this one is just whatever, but uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, um, well, I don't think these red coins are happening, to be honest. Um, okay, they actually gave me a lot of time. Also, really, it took me a while to realize that, like, those were not all the same depth then. Um, okay, I guess there's just some coins in there. That's cool. Cool, um, I'm pretty sure spinies I can just get rid of, yeah. Um, once again, those, that's an enemy that you can't jump on and normally would have to avoid, but, uh, when you're the Tanuki, you can do some cool stuff, or I guess this, I guess, I think, yeah, I think I mentioned that Tanuki Luigi is, like, specifically a fox. Um, okay, the way that these guys work is some, some of them, like, make a spring when they die. Um, okay, I guess this one. Not really sure what's up with that, but I guess it is what it is. Also, was there, like, anything over here that I missed? Um... Well, I guess there were some coins, but that's not really that worth it. Okay. Um, and okay, so I guess basically this level is just like you got like these big bouncy mushrooms. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. It's always fun to, uh, like levels where you know, really? That didn't work. Uh, whatever. I guess that's fine. I, I, I was cheating too much anyways, and okay. Um, not totally sure how to get up there. Um, I might be able to do some wall jump uh, shenanigans. Uh, I'm assuming I need like, is there like a cat suit in this level? Is that like the um, power up? Can I 
Dang, I, th I thought I might be able to kill them all in one go. Um, okay, fire. Mar okay, well, we actually, I always forget that I, like, can store power-ups. Um, well, now I can easily get up this. I'm not sure if there's, like, a alternate way of doing this. Um, but, uh, you can just do that, base is, uh, basically what I was getting at. Um, okay, once again, we can... We have a weapon to combat the spines, right? I mean, I guess fire, um, the fire flower works as well. Um, fire defeats them. And, okay, um, cool, cool challenge, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Cat Mario breaks a lot of things, and, okay, this looks interesting. This looks really cool. Um, I guess we're just gonna bounce around. Uh, also, those enemies are, like, really not very threatening. They just kind of, uh, you can, like, defeat them, but it's pretty easy to just kind of go around them. Okay, there's the stamp. Um, well, let's see if I can do something cool. I'm gonna try and, um, do a dive right into the center. Um, I, I, you know, that wasn't, that, that, that looked a lot cooler in my head, I guess. Uh, that's what I was getting at. Um, alright. Um, yeah. Really? <laughs> you can't climb it all the way? Well, that was, like, the worst thing ever. Um, I guess if you grab the, um, pole too low down, even if you have a cat so you don't climb all the way up. Well, I guess, good to know. Um, alright. Well, I will redo that real quick. And, uh, yeah. Okay, um, by the way, if you're wondering what was over there, I guess there is a, a, a coin thing. So I guess it's sort of worth it. Um, yeah. Um, get a lot of coins in there. So yeah, that, that's pretty easy to do when you have the katsu in. Okay, um, you know what? I will just, um, okay. Um, let me get rid of the other ones. I think I can, like, move this closer, right? Okay, yeah, we can pick it up, put, put it down. And, come on, get on it. Okay, <laughs> I kind of just, like, snapped to that, didn't I? But, uh, yeah, there we go. That You know, that's what I get for trying to cheat the, uh, the cool puzzle. And, uh, okay, there we go. So, anyway, yeah, that was a pretty fun level as well, uh, I gotta say. Uh, I, w I wish, like, it kind of went on for a lot longer. Like, that ending part was cool, but it's also super short. Um... But yeah, still pretty cool overall. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm assuming that I don't think that there are too many levels left. Uh, looks like it's just, um, at the very least, we have one, two there. And then I think the pipes both might take us somewhere interesting. But other than that, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. So yeah, uh, I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye and take care.